Welcome to today's edition of the Exploring Mining Podcast, featuring stock news from TSX, TSXV, CSE, ASX, NASDAQ, and New York Stock Exchange mining companies, plus interviews with CEOs and leading experts. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to the latest edition of the Exploring Mining Podcast. For news today, we've got the latest from Western Copper and Gold, Mine Hub Technologies, Fathom Nickel, and Honey Badger Silver. But just before we get into the news, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. Right, so Western Copper and Gold Corporation, which trades on the NYSE American under the ticker WRN, has announced a 2023 drilling program at its wholly owned casino Copper and Gold project. According to the press release, a diamond drill program consisting of approximately 2,200 meters of drilling in seven drill holes, ranging from 130 meters to 560 meters in depth, has been initiated, which upon completion is expected to result in upgrading of some of the indicated resource to the measured resource category. The program will also feature about 800 meters of geotechnical and hydrogeological drilling, which will target the ground conditions of the proposed open pit, stockpiles, tailings management facility, heap leaching facility, new airstrip, and the proposed Rani well site. Stock for Western Copper and Gold is up 0.32% at the time of recording. Next up, Mine Hub Technologies, Inc., which trades on the TSXV as MHUB, has announced the launch of enhanced ETAs, described as a predictive AI-powered shipment tracking and delivery module on its platform. Andrea Arangarin, the company's president and CEO, said, quote, Shipment tracking is incredibly important to our customers as visibility can often be unreliable and incomplete. Our customers rely on accurate data to anticipate arrivals, manage their inventories, and optimize their operations. Enhanced ETAs addresses these challenges head-on, empowering businesses with the insights they need for effective decision-making. We are at the forefront of elevating the accuracy and reliability of shipment management capabilities for our customers. End quote. Stock for MineHub Technologies is up 7.89% at the time of recording. Moving along, Fathom Nickel Inc., which trades on the CSE under the ticker FNI, has announced that the second round of drilling at the Gochiger Lake project will commence on or about September 2nd and is expected to consist of five to six drill holes totaling approximately 1,800 to 2,000 meters. The company's CEO and VP of Exploration, Ian Fraser, explained, quote, We have spent the last several months evaluating the results of the winter drilling and borehole electromagnetic or BHEM surveys, as well as the recently completed second round of BHEM or surface TDEM results. We are confident and very excited to now further drill test the apparent very steep controls on the high-grade nickel mineralization intersected in drill hole GL23003. End quote. Lastly, for today, Honey Badger Silver Inc., which trades on the TSXV under the ticker TUF, has completed the exploration program at its wholly owned Plata Silver Project in Canada's Yukon Territory. According to the press release, a total of 308 soil and 56 rock chip samples were collected and are being assayed the results of which will be released when they have been received and interpreted. The company's CEO, Dorian L. Nickel, said, quote, We remain very excited about the exploration potential at our Plata project. Our confidence in Plata's potential has been fueled by recent announcements by Snowline Gold Corp. from their Rogue project adjacent to Plata. 
Our geologic mapping this year continues to identify mineralization in a geologic setting similar to Rogue, associated with structures that provided pathways for mineralizing fluids from intrusions. We look forward to receiving the assay results from this season's sampling so that we can interpret them and plan the next steps of work. Meanwhile, the field crews have mobilized to our Groundhog and Clear Lake projects. End quote. Well, that does it for today's Exploring Mining podcast. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. InvestorIdeas.com reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. All investment involves risk, and this podcast is not meant to be an endorsement to buy or sell securities or products. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, and most audio platforms available.